Oh god, here we go again. What's going on guys? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Now this one was brought to my attention by a subscriber of mine. Shoutouts to Warehouse Dave. Now Mark Bustler, yes, that Mark Bustler of CGR, Classic Game Room. Everybody's familiar with that YouTube channel. Um, we're not going to really get into it here, but he ended up... Mark Bustler sort of walked away from YouTube and then he went over to Amazon, I believe, and tried to continue Lord Carnage or Classic Game Room over there, and I, I don't think it worked out. Um, more recent times, Mark Bustler has started up his own publishing company. Uh, it's called CGR Publishing, and as a matter of fact, I did check out the CGR Publishing website today. And it seems legit. Mark's putting out um, actual hardbound books. Uh, I think most of it is of his own work as well. So it looks like he's done pretty good for himself. So I don't blame him for you know, sort of walking away from uh, creating content on YouTube. Now, it was, again, brought to my attention. Uh, Mark Bustler of Classic Game Room has launched a Kickstarter for what's called Classic Game Room 2085 Season 2. So apparently there was a Season 1. I think that's the one that was on Amazon or might have been Amazon Prime. And so what Mark Bustler is proposing here, he wants the retro gaming community to fund him. He's asking... $116,000 Canadian, so whatever that is, USD, it's a little under $100,000. He needs $100,000 to create 15 hours of content for Classic Game Room 2085 Season 2. He had 64 backers, and uh, he raised... Just a little over $18,000 Canadian. The reason why I say that in past tense is because it looks like, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You can check it out yourself. As of this past Friday, Mark has already canceled the Kickstarter campaign. And he's gone on to explain his reasoning as to why he has done that. As well as he's responded to several of the comments on this Kickstarter as well. So I don't have a problem with Mark. Uh, I've enjoyed his content over the years. Um, there is a funny story. Uh, maybe I'll share another day involving him and Dean Thompson from Escape to Gaming who uh, was this close to jumping on a plane to meet to meeting Mark Bustler in person. And then Mark Bustler obviously realized that Dean was absolutely out of his fucking mind. And he backed out of that altogether. Thank God. And uh, that's that's a story for another day. That's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, Mark Bustler asking over $100,000 to produce 15 hours worth of content. And he hatched this whole idea of releasing Blu-rays. And Mark, if you're watching this, man, you got to just give up the ghost with the whole Blu-ray idea. Okay. Unfortunately, buddy, the world has moved on. Okay, nobody buys Blu-rays anymore. We live in a disposable society. Content is here today and it's gone tomorrow. You do not need $100,000 to create the content that you're, again, making it out to be like it's this Hollywood produ production and you need all, all the funds you can get. You already have the equipment to shoot the video. All you're out is your personal time, for Christ's sakes. You don't need a hundred grand. You don't need a hundred grand. If you're doing this just for passion, shoot the videos. Put it on YouTube. Quit being a big baby about it. Collect your ad revenue. I read somewhere, it might have even been on this Kickstarter. I don't know if it was on here or not. Mark was complaining that the reason why he left YouTube is because Google took away his ad revenue. I don't think that's the case, Mark, because every time I click on one of your legacy videos on your channel, it's still running the ads. So I don't know why you would say that. You've got some evergreen content there, Mark. I'm pretty sure you're probably getting a nice 
princely little sum each month from YouTube, from Ad Re AdSense revenue. But yeah, but this asking over a hundred thousand dollars. This guy is trying to swindle a hundred G's out of the retro gaming community. The only reason why this guy would be asking for a hundred and sixteen thousand dollars Canadian. It's because he's trying to obviously make a huge profit off this idea, okay? You don't need $100,000 to do this, Mark. You don't need $20,000 to do this, okay? Cut out the whole idea with the mugs and the t-shirts and the Blu-rays, okay? Just make your fucking content. Put it on YouTube and call it a day, Mark, okay? <laughs> oh my God. So if you want to check out this uh, archived Kickstarter page. You can check it out yourself. Mark clearly put a lot of time and effort into this Kickstarter. It's it's crazy the amount of detail that is on this page. It, you know, if if I didn't know any better, you know, I don't, I'd almost say assume this guy is not as busy as he makes himself out to be. You know, he's running a publishing company, yet he's got all the time in the world to put all this fucking effort into a Kickstarter page it kind of blows my mind. So anyways, that's it. Uh, I don't really have much else to say about that. Uh, I thought it would be a bit of interest as some of you out there, you know, obviously probably wondering what happened to Mark Bustler in Classic Game Room. And uh, yeah, you can check it out here. He tried to reboot it. And uh, obviously he probably came to the realization that he was asking way too much money. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So it looks like everybody's getting their money back, thank God. And, yeah, last updated, May 12th, uh, an update from Mark. So, yeah, link in the description below. You guys can check it out. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.